right? So coming up in the new expansion, Warlock has some kind of interesting new cards that are coming. And for these Theorycraft decks, I wanted to stay away from the Quest Warlock. These might not be like top of the meta or anything, but I think these are at least some cool decks. The first is one that I've kind of heard people talk about, maybe zoo style death rattly warlock. So I'm just calling mine death rattle warlock. Of course, it has a lot of different death rattles. There's a couple of different kind of key cards that I'm looking at with this deck. Some of my favorites are gambling, desiccated graveyard, and then course the hero card dread lich tamsin now the big thing with all three of these is basically to continue creating boards and continue putting out threats now another one of the new cards that is kind of cool and i'm really interested to see how this actually works in play and how effective it ends up being is sacrificial summoner this card especially is really cool i kind of tried to create a stagger type effect with the deck where originally i was going to go even lower curve but because of this card i decided to really kind of fill in the mid game of four five and six and especially one combo that i really want to pull off with this is using this summoner to destroy a burning blade acolyte to pull mr smite out of the deck and then you can use mr smite to hit face or make a trade if you have to but then that Mr. Smite will be hidden behind that Demon Spawn taunt. And I think that would be really cool. So I hope I get to do that. And if you're liking these decks and these Theorycraft videos, I would really appreciate if you could just give these a thumbs up so that other people can hopefully enjoy these too. Thank you. And now let's talk about the second deck here. This is a big Demon Warlock deck. And we've kind of had some of these tools before. It's never really been very uh, competitive or even played at all. I mean, maybe people have kind of tested it, but it doesn't end up being very competitive. But there are a couple of new tools in this expansion that might make it a little bit more viable. But let's take a look at it. Some of the big key cards, of course, we have the demons. So we have Envoy Rustwix, this new Fellwalker, Enslaved Fellord, Enhanced Dreadlord, and then I put in Moarg Forge Fiend at the top end as well. Now, these are fairly costly, and you don't want to always be playing these directly from your hand for the full mana. So there's a couple of ways with this deck and some of these cards that you can actually draw these or pull them out of the deck uh, for cheaper or free. The key kind of support cards to get these demons are things like the Dark Portal, which is also the only fell spell in the deck there's really not a lot of fell warlock spells right now so this is actually going to be great if you end up having that fell walker and you have to play the fell walker you get the battle cry that can cast this dark portal as well for you then you also have free admission archwitch willow those can help pull some stuff out now the only kind of small caveat with the free admission is archwitch willow and the two giants that i have in the deck are not demons but those three cards are the only minions that are not demons. So you have a higher chance to actually draw demons and discount them. But just having the effect of being able to draw them and maybe get some sort of combo, like I said, with the Fellwalker and Dark Portal. There's a couple other combos, but ideally you're, you're going to pull the demons. And if it ends up really not working out, honestly, we might just take those giants out and replace them with something else. But then also to kind of make sure that we're getting to that later game, there's a lot of kind of early removal and healing. So I included some tools to be able to do that, especially against more aggressive decks. So things like Drain Soul, Soul Shear, Unstable Shadow Blast, School Spirits, and One Hysteria. The Soul Fragments, there are a couple other cards, but they are both minions. And one's a demon. I just did not want to include those, but I just didn't want to include even more minions that aren't demons. And I didn't want to have that small demon in the deck. So things like the Drain Soul acts as removal and healing, whereas you don't really rely on those soul fragments quite as much, but they are there for some benefit to help progress through that early and mid part of the game. What did you think of these decks? Are you going to be trying something, especially if it's not quest warlock related? I know that's probably still going to be pretty relevant, but maybe some of these cards are a little bit more helpful after the rotation next year. 
Let me know what you think in those comments below. And if you want to check out any of my other theorycraft videos, make sure you check out the playlist there. And I'll see you in the next video.